Here we have a problem about optimization. And this is where calculus really comes in handy in the real world. Let's take a look at this problem and then we'll talk about how a property of the derivative can help us solve it. This one says a shoe company wants to determine how many shoes to manufacture in order to maximize its profit. The cost for making X shoes is given by this function, the cost function. C of X equals 77X plus 49.69. So what that means is that there's some fixed cost for producing any amount of shoes and if this is dollars it's four thousand nine hundred sixty nine dollars maybe that's the cost of the shoe making machine uh, and then for each shoe there's a cost of seventy seven uh, dollars i suppose maybe that's the materials and the labor involved uh, to make that shoe that's a pricey shoe at least the the cost to make it is and then it says the price of a single pair of shoes is given by this function the price is those fixed costs divided by the number of shoes so the more shoes you make the more you get to divide this uh, fixed cost that you put out in the first place, plus 93 minus 4 fifteenths X. So that will give you the price of a pair of shoes. That's how much they can charge for them. So the, the price is going to depend on how many shoes you make, and the cost is going to depend on how many shoes you make. Now it says, assuming that all the shoes manufactured are sold, how many shoes should be made to maximize the profits? And they're giving you a hint here. They're saying that the function P of X, that would be profit, is the revenue minus the cost. And revenue is how much money you take in. And that's the number of shoes you, you sell times the price of your shoes. So you'd actually have to multiply this price function by the number of shoes that you sold. And the number of shoes is X. So let me show you how this works. Our profit function equals the revenue function, and the revenue function is P of X, the price of a pair of shoes, so 4969 over X plus 93 minus 4 fifteenths X times the number of shoes you make, which is X. X is the number of shoes being produced here. So that's, and then minus the cost function, which is minus 77 X plus four nine six nine okay a little hard to see there I'll I'll simplify this and write that a little more clearly so the profit function is the price function times X let's go ahead and multiply that X through doing that we get four thousand nine hundred and sixty nine plus ninety three X minus four fifteenths X squared and then minus the cost function minus seventy seven X plus four nine six nine now we can simplify a little bit if I uh, multiply this negative sign through this becomes negative and we have the same value out here so these two will actually cancel each other out and then we have a negative 77 X and a positive 93 X so this actually becomes quite a bit simpler we can write this as what is that 16 X so 16 X minus 4 fifteenths X squared so there's our profit function simplified down. Now we want to know when this function is maximized, when our profit is greatest. Well, we can do that with the derivative. If we take the derivative and find the zeros of the derivative, we will have our relative extrema, our local maxima and minima. And we can test those values to see which one is the most profitable. So let's go ahead and um, put this, uh, take the derivative here, so P prime of X equals, well that would just be 16, and this would be minus 8 fifteenths X, and then we'll set that equal to zero. And we'll do some math here, we get negative 16 equals negative 8 fifteenths X, and I think if you crunch that out you're going to get X equals 30 now if you want to double check to see if that's uh, a max or a min, you would want to pick numbers on either side uh, of 30 and plug them in there. And what you'll find is this is indeed uh, a max for this function. So if you make 30 pairs of shoes, you're maximizing that profit. If you make fewer or more, you're getting a little less profit. So that's an example of an optimization problem using the, the derivative.
My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at Edvisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.